We are live. So thank you. Mm. Mm. Thank of all of you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> thanks everybody for coming to join us for a lawful good gaming production. This is Saturday Morning Supers presents Community Outreach. So we are going to be playing a very fun role playing game. Uh, produced by Magpie Games and written by Brendan Conway. Um, and everyone here has provided a donation to the National Immigration Law Center. Um, I encourage all of you to do so uh, listening in. Um, any donations that are coming in live will actually uh, have a fun time for our group. We'll get into a little bit about what that is going to mean in a second here. Um, my name is Taylor. I am going to be GMing this. Um, let's meet our players. So starting from my virtual left, um, we have all decided what kind of superhero we're going to be playing. Um, let's meet Amy. All right. Hi, I'm Amy. I use she, her pronouns. Uh, I am the host of the Infinite Development Podcast, um, and I am playing the Nova. Awesome. And uh, let's go on to her virtual right. Let's go to Luis. Hey, I'm Luis. I'll be playing as a legacy. I use his, him pronouns. And then keep it on going down the line. Let's talk to Kurt. Hi, I'm Kurt, and I will be playing the Janus. Nice. And then let's meet Mike. Oh, hi, I'm Mike. I will be playing the Outsider. Nice. And wrapping up the team, we have Richard. Hey, everybody. Uh, I'm Richard, uh, he, him pronouns, and uh, I will be playing the delinquent, and there's nothing you can do about it. So there. <laughs> Already <laughs> acting in character. I like it. Okay, so... For those of you not familiar with Masks or with Powered by the Apocalypse games, Masks uses an engine that was written by Vincent and McGay Baker called the Apocalypse World engine. Um, the basics to that is if you do something, you do it. So for the most part, I will be presenting fictional scenarios, um, you know, narrative positioning, um, and asking that you respond in character uh, or telling me what your character does. Um, for the most part, if you do something, you do it. Um, there are times where the rules may make something interesting or may complicate things in a certain way um, or just put you in a general bind. Uh, in that situation, I will probably call for a role. Um, Powered by the Apocalypse uses just one role pretty much, uh, and that is the role of 2d6, that's two six-sided dice, and then the addition of a stat. Usually that stat is a, an attribute um, that is you know, based on your character. Um, sometimes that stack can be something else as well. Um, but for the most part, it'll be 2d6 plus your stat modifier. Um, so in those situations, you will roll. Uh, generally, on a 10 or higher, um, you will get what you want and maybe even more. On a 7 through 9, you'll get what you want, but you may have to provide uh, an additional outcome. Um, you may have to pay a cost. You may have to answer a hard question. Um, and then generally, on a 6 or below, you will get a point of experience points, uh, which is referred to as potential in masks, and I will get to make a move against you. Um, as the GM, this move might be what you want, but it's not the way that you want it. Um, it can also just be something that is mean. Um, <laughs> that is the, the basis for this game. So there's just basically one role system. Um, there's also some, uh, some little fuzzy bits that we will get to as we go. Um, the other big uh, mechanic that we are going to be talking about is conditions. Um, so instead of hit points, uh, Masks uses something called the condition track. So for every stat that you have for your character, uh, there is a corresponding condition. These are things um, like uh, afraid, angry, guilty, hopeless, insecure. Um, anytime that you would suffer harm or uh, stress in the game, um, you will likely have to mark off one of these conditions. And these will provide a debilitation for some roles that you are going through, as well as uh, a sort of narrative prompt. So if you mark angry, um, my suggestion would be to act angry until that condition is cleared. Um, does anyone have any questions about that before we start going? I have a quick question. Yeah. Kurt, if it's Kurt with a K or with a C. <laughs> Either is fine. <laughs> All right, so. so it's legit. <laughs> I encourage all of you to read over the character sheets that we have, um, especially with the 
um, the playbook that you have uh, chosen. So um, Nova, uh, Legacy, um, Janus, Outsider, and Delinquent. There we go. I remembered all of them. Hey. <laughs> we'll make um, a GM of you yet. Yeah. <laughs> and I will open up a note document so that I can start taking notes because as a GM, I have some work to do too. Hmm. Well, I, I think I have pretty much got everything picked out. So if we wanted to, to go through that. Yeah. Okay. The cool thing about Powered by the Apocalypse games is the playbooks that we have. So. Um, Instead of uh, doing math and writing in numbers, filling out uh, basically a, a fun-looking spreadsheet, so um, we are going to be um, making choices. So these are the first yeah. times that we're making choices. Hey, there we go. Yep. Um, so you will all have uh, on your sheets um, a picture, a little blurb, um, and then uh, you will start making some choices. So um, take a look at your looks section. Um, choose one from each of those tracks. Uh, to describe what your character looks like. And then most playbooks have a unique, fun little bit. Um, most of these are, you know, your superpowers that you are going to get. They may also be um, things like um, drives or extra motivations. Um, they could be, um, I believe, the Doomed track has a sanctuary, so you get a, to come up with a, a castle or something um you also have to come up with a nemesis doomed is rough yeah doomed <laughs> is very here. Mm -hmm. uh, and it, it, it's the like um fortified place of loneliness right um so so in the other mask scene that we're playing my doomed character's sanctuary is basically a closet in a library <laughs> um and it's filled with a bunch of really creepy dolls now, now, is this a public library or? It's a school library. Oh, okay. Uh. Um, I would suggest um, not taking too much time to look over things like moment of truth um, or your potential or advancement stuff. Um, those are for longer play games. Um, those are things that you will unlock as you play um, multiple sessions. Um, we're going to be doing a one shot here. So, um, I would still encourage you to look at your team moves because those are things that you will be doing, uh, interacting with your fellow players. Um, and then the second page of your playbook uh, is going to be where things are going to get fun. Um, so you always start with the labels presented on your playbook. So for example, um, the doomed playbook starts with a plus one in danger, freak, and savior. Um, a minus one in superior, and then a flat zero in mundane. Um, and these are all uh, stats that pretty much tell you what they do on the tin. Um, so when you are doing things dangerously, you will roll with danger. Um, when you are, are unleashing powers or, or acting in, in freaky ways, you'll roll with freak. Um, when you're defending someone, you'll roll with savior. Um, that sort of deal. Uh, you do also get a floating point to put wherever you want uh, out of those five labels. So does everybody have fancy dice for this morning? <laughs> I found my Con in the North dice. That I hey, there you go. Nice. Hey, Taylor. Hey, yeah, my phone, my phone is my dice. Awesome. <laughs> I've got yeah, my uh, tiny frontiers. Uh, what is it? Kaiju and Mecha or whatever. Uh, uh, yeah, so they've got like little Godzilla dudes on them. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I don't get to roll any dice because I'm the GM. But wah, wah, wah. hey, actually, when you when you're the GM, you don't have to roll dice. It's actually pretty great. Yeah, yeah that is true. <laughs> <laughs> Like that pesky you get to roll the mental dice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Nova really is just all about the burn, huh? It really is. <laughs> oh, this is fun. <laughs> all 
All right. So to give you guys a general sense, I'm going like full support. I'm not going okay. to be doing much on the front line except for like horrendously dying. <laughs> <That's>, okay. <laughs> and then which which playbook was that? That's the outsider. Outsider. Okay. So we had Nova, Legacy, Outsider, and then uh, what was Curtis Janus? Janus, that's right. Or, or Hamas, if you want to say it that way. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't that the Sean Bean character from one of the the was that Goldeneye, right? I'm trying to remember. Probably. Well, I remember, was it like Project Janice and Judge Dredd with Sylvester Stallone? I don't know. <laughs> Didn't everybody watch this movie? Uh, no. The only thing I, I know I've seen it once, but it was so long ago that... You mostly blocked it from your memory. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I, never saw with I love cheesy movies, movies so... Like, I'm like, you know, I gotta see that, too. The only thing I remember is just the uh, interaction between Sylvester Stallone and I think his brother, um, where <laughs> someone yells, you betrayed the law, and then Sylvester Stallone screams, I am the law. Yes. Um, oh, yeah. I mean, the, the best part in the whole movie. <laughs> uh, so we have, we have got our labels. Um, underneath labels, we will see our conditions. So these are where we're going to keep track of our... Um, our anger, our fear, guilt, hopelessness, and insecurities. Um, and you will see that next to these conditions, um, it tells you exactly what they do. So when you mark afraid, you will take a minus two penalty whenever you directly engage a threat. Um, so these are, these are things that you don't really want to mark um, because they will, make you, uh, they will make it hard for you to do things. Um, the game also does position them um, in a way that if you are trying to min-max, um, it, it uh, gives you a good suggestion for how that changes your character. So um, say the, the Nova, you're not really going to be comforting or supporting people, um, mm -hmm. but I can definitely tell you that you're going to be angry. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, hey, in fairness, there's more than one way to play the Nova, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, you could also be insecure because uh, defending or rejecting influence is also something that um, is fun to do. Mm -hmm. um, there are ways to clear these conditions, and I am looking for them currently in the book. Um, I know that one of the, the biggest ways to clear the conditions is, um, is to get comforted or supported by a fellow teammate. So that is a, um, a basic move that I believe relies on something mundane, mundane. yep, yep. Mm -hmm. um, we will skim straight on past backstory um, because we're doing a, a quick little one shot um, it's, it's fun to do and answer questions um, it's a good mad libs um, if you have an answer to one of the questions I do I do okay yes so um, <clears throat> the delinquent uh, is the playbook, but the character is the bamboozler. Okay. Um, he goes around dressed up in a panda costume, and uh, his secret origin is that he was bitten by a panda, Ooh. and that's how he got his superpowers. Were you dressed so. as bamboo at the time? <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Hey, there we go. There I go. wish I still had my panda hat from a catacon. Otherwise, <laughs> that would happen. Yeah. Trying to make Phil and Cinder proud, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay. Um. So we will answer when our first or our, when our team first came together, just because I think that that's fun. Um. And then relationships and influence um, may come up into play. Uh, relationships are Mad Libs, such as you told blank all about your doom and the danger you're in. Um, if you want to fill those in during play, uh, those relationships will give you something called influence, which um, 
has some some moving parts to it, but uh, essentially um, we will just give it a, a helping hand sort of hand wave deal um, in here. And then on the right column of the second page of the playbook, uh, you will find all your cool class powers and moves. Um, and you will likely be able to choose from those some cool stuff. Oops. No, I just saw that. So I think I've pretty much got a character here. Nice. Um, I don't know, shall we wait until everyone is? Uh, we can at least wait until uh, Richard comes back. Um, I don't know anything about the setting that we're playing in. Uh, we are, <laughs> it's it's super school Saturday morning superheroes. So, oh, good. Uh, Young Justice. Um, you know, uh, Peter Parker in high school. Um, the Young Avengers Academy, I think. Good. All right. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> and is it, there's a and I mean obviously X Men. Yes. Yeah. The example too obvious for me to think of it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So. Does anyone have questions about character creation while we're working on it here? Did we go over no. any relationship stuff at all? Or um, not yet. Uh, okay. Relationships, you, I just said um, we can fill them out as we play uh, because okay. um, we don't really know each other yet. Right. So mm -hmm. I think it would be it'd be hard to fill out relationships right off the bat. Um, but if people have stuff ready, um, I think we should get going right into it here. Um, Amy, you said that your character was ready. Do you have a, a name for that? Yeah. yeah. So, um, I'm playing the Nova. Um, her name is, or her hero name is Heartstorm. Ooh. Um, uh, her, her, uh, mundane name is Emily Pullman. And uh, she's a white woman. She has marked skin in that she has like um, uh, tattoos that glow when she uses her burn. Mm -hmm. um, usually wears casual clothing. She has a colorful costume. Uh, it's it's all like pink and white. Uh, uh, her ability is gravity manipulation, um, which is an interesting one because you can theoretically fly with that one and also it, it's it's just stupid powerful but um <laughs> but i mean since it's the nova i'm going to be marking conditions every time i try to do anything <laughs> um, <laughs> um thus my stats are um or uh, what are they called in this um Labels. My labels are plus one for danger, plus two for freak, uh, plus zero for savior, plus one for superior, and minus one for mundane. Uh, and the burns that I chose, the four burns that I chose, um, are reality storm, which, uh, should I read it? I'll, I'll summarize it. Reality mm -hmm. storm, you channel a destructive burst with your powers. Uh, elemental awareness. Yeah, spend one burn and mark a condition to open your mind to the world around you with your powers, and you get to ask any question. Uh, overcharge, where you channel the full capacity of your incredible powers to overcome an obstacle, reshape your environment, or extend your senses. And worship, you put out a tremendous display of your might. Spend one burn to awe an audience into silence, respect, and attention. <laughs> nice. Um, and and uh, for my influence, I have a happy facade, so um, I get to, or I have to give three people influence over me, uh, who I will decide when uh, I know about everyone's characters. Yeah. Cool. That is super cool. Um, so that was Heartstorm. 
let's yeah. talk a little bit about Luis. Who are you playing today? Yes, my character is named Horizon. Um, uh, very much a they're Latino. Their real name is Ilan Isquiel. Um, they have super strength, invincibility, and flight. And they're pretty much a Shazam lookalike. Very not unlike the character cover <laughs> with a cape. <laughs> with a cape. Um, let me see here. What do you need to know? Um, I have danger for my labels. Danger minus one. Freak zero. Savior plus two. Superior plus one. And mundane plus one. And with, let me see. What was the other? Oh, um, my moves. I picked fight the good fight, which is when I pull my punches, I can do something, which well, I guess we'll see what that looks like. And then never give up, never surrender. When I take a mighty blow from someone a lot stronger, then it hurts me less. So I'm hoping we fight someone a lot stronger and I can actually use that. <laughs> <laughs> um. And relationships, teams are very important to me, so everyone has influence on me. Nice. And I am making a note, send strong enemies Horizon's way. <laughs> <laughs> I have a family legacy to uphold. I got to take them down. Yeah, uh, so the cool thing about the legacy is that you are, um, you're not the first generation of supers in your family. Um, who, uh, who amongst your family members um, was a, a superhero before you? Oh, um, so I have that my grandfather was the first one, um, and I, I'm totally ripping names off. So, you know, I'm, I'm going to, uh, his name was Zorro, and no, he's retired and judgmental. And he did a lot of like street level crime because um, he didn't have very many powers. Okay. Um, then my father um, really got the peak of the powers, um, and he, his name is Zenith. And all our family has like the Z crest. Um, mm. And our great enemy is Amazo, who's my uncle and is Zoro's bastard son, uh, <laughs> who is who he refused to acknowledge, and because of that, became a criminal. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, that's really good. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's a soap opera. It is a soap opera. <laughs> well, actually, would it be a telenovela at that point, right? Oh, no, that's that's a great point. Yeah. 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 Especially because Zoro is like, still alive and kicking. It's just like constantly going, that's not my son. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, amazing. Let's move on to Kurt playing the Janus. All right. Um, I am playing the Roach. Um, uh, very mundane, and that uh, my I live with my mom. My dad is not around. She works three jobs to uh, make a living, and so also I am one of the few teenagers in this group that have a job, and uh, I work at a construction site, and I. Um, as I was working, uh, a beam accidentally hit me and uh, from stories up and the beam actually fell off the crane and we both fell into what was going to be a made building by a evil corporation. And it broke through and broke through the ground, which was covered, which had some and other chemicals that was kind of mixed in. And so, I mean, as you can imagine, um, there are some roaches there. I got mixed in with the chemicals. <laughs> insert, insert trope here and uh, became the roach. Um, so plus, I'm the only name one name in high school. Samson? What's that? Is his real name Gregor Samson? I mean, for the Kafka <laughs> thing? <laughs> Unsurprisingly, his real name is Steve Roach. So it's pretty <laughs> fitting. Awesome. Um, awesome. Yeah. Like, totally just happened. I don't know how it happened, but. Uh, <laughs> Your arch nemesis and, uh, is like going through the phone book trying to find you. Yeah. <laughs> no, that'd be too obvious. <laughs> <laughs> too obvious. 
too easy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And uh, he's the only one in high school that because he's he just is so hardworking, he's very invisible there. And plus, his voice is like this. And so for a high schooler, he's very, very much pushed into obscurity. So then when he puts on the mask, he's ready to uh, save some lives. Ready to party. Yeah, here's the labels for me. I have uh, plus one in danger, negative one in freak, zero for savior and superior, and as you can imagine, plus three in mundane. Yep. My moves are uh, the mask. Uh, you wear a mask and you hide your real identity. Um, and then I also have mild mannered. Um, because I, when I use my uh, civilian identity to deceive, trick, or slip past somebody, um, I roll Monday, and then I get some special abilities. And then a, I also have I'll save you, which is I'm willing to play. I'm willing to pay high cost to keep my loved one safe. Mm. And I don't know if I said this, but also my mom is um, also disabled, and so I have to take her to work every day, and and. Um, she got in a car accident that she limps on me. So in the Hall of Justice, there's the Roach's mom, like off to the That's side. right. Oh, okay. that's right. <laughs> um, so part of the Janus is that you have this secret identity, um, and I will ask you to choose one of your teammates who knows your real identity, uh, and the rest of you only know the Roach by the Roach. So, Kurt, um, I won't ask you to choose right now uh, because Mike and okay. Richard still have to go. Um, but keep in mind who you want to know um, Steve Roach. Everyone else okay. just knows the person in the costume. Okay. Um, and then, Mike, it is your turn, the outsider. All right. <clears throat> I am playing the outsider. Goes by the name of Hephaestus Hef Alec. He is ambiguously gendered with a neon body, glowing eyes, mismatched clothing, and a humanizing costume. Mm. His labels are danger minus one, freak plus two, savior zero, superior plus two, and mundane plus zero. Um, he is actually on, well, it, because it's ambiguous, is actually on Earth for spring break. <laughs> he is an engineering student at the uh, Trappist Engineering University, uh, which leads into his moves, which are alien tech, which allows me to modify Earth equipment to do wondrous things. The best of them, which allows me to comfort and support people with my freak ability, and not so different after all, in which I can lie to all of you to make you feel better. <laughs> <laughs> um. He I love is, the outsider. <laughs> he, he is extremely cheerful, which gives influence over him. Okay. Nice. Spring break. <laughs> um, did I have one question for you? Um, yeah. Did Hef come from outer space or from um, like divine cosmos? Because Hephaestus is a pretty cool, pretty cool deity. Um, well, he's coming from the uh, the Trappist System Engineering uh, University, but um, you know, it's it's Hephaestus is a really cool deity. I will admit that. I'll, yeah. I'll let you run with that. You know? Okay. And right. then the bamboozler. The bamboozler. <laughs> uh, so uh, he is um, a half Japanese kind of chubby dude. Um, He's got laughing eyes, uh, generally in casual clothing, which is basically just a panda hoodie all the time um, in, his, in his regular life. <laughs> um, and he has a ridiculous costume, which, of course, is a giant panda suit. Good. With, with one of those, like, heads that's about, like, three feet wide, you know? Um, yes. Like a mascot suit. Um, he has... You can, call uh, it, you can call it a fursuit. It's okay. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> Um, so yeah, he's got emotional control and illusions. Um, so he basically just goes around dicking with people. Um, and, uh, his moves are, I don't care what you think, except he kind of does. 
um, and, uh, and Criminal Minds, so who's good at assessing the situation and figuring out how to, how to push people's buttons. Um, and then, of course, the Are You Watching Closely, which is the sort of misleading, distracting, tricking thing. So that's, that's the bamboozler. So I think the four of the rest of you uh, are here because you're volunteering to make this look good on your college applications. Um, but I got the feeling that the bamboo player was sent there on like some sort of detention or, or punitive action. Um, <laughs> Maybe a little, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay, good. Um, so we have met our super team. Um, the Roach. Would you like to tell me who knows you as Steve Roach? Okay, Michael, what's your character's name again? Hef. Yep, we're going to go with Hef just because I'm I'm in awe of somebody from another world and because he see, because he's from another place and I kind of feel like an outsider, even though I should have picked the outsider. I uh, feel like I have, I don't know, an affinity for him, plus... Plus, he always, you know, I don't know. We'll just go with that. You totally nice. do. We totally have an affinity. This is awesome. Spring break! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Wait, hold on. Let me roll. I believe him. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, before we get going, I have one question for each of you uh, that is going to tell us a little bit more about the situation that we are starting in. So, um, the event description for this game uh, said that we are all at a super school and we are doing community service. There wasn't much more details after that. So, let's uh, let's try and fill in a little bit more about the exposition and a little bit more about the world. So, um, let's start with Heartstorm. Um, what is our community service that we're doing today? Oh, hmm. um, I, I th I'm thinking like actually, um, <clears throat> I'm thinking it's like Habitat for Humanity or something like we're building houses. Um, and the reason that I'm thinking that is because, uh, uh, for when our team first came together, my, um, my playbooks uh, thing says we destroyed our surroundings in the fight, and I think we destroyed like a bunch of houses. So um, our community services to build some houses. Perfect. <laughs> now, are these are the like? Is this the same neighborhood that we came back to? So they're all just giving us the stink eye while we're rebuilding the houses. <laughs> I feel like they'd probably send us to a different neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> but I mean, I don't know. <laughs> uh, or we're like, how, how many houses do we have to build in Costa Rica to make up for the ones that we destroyed in, in Halcyon City, right? Like, is this like a three for one ratio? Are we going based on property value? Like, <laughs> I mean, also, like, how many houses can we build for superheroes? <laughs> Well, I like to think that only one of us actually knows what they're doing with the construction, right? <laughs> like, the rest of us are just sort of standing around. <laughs> and I don't know anything about construction, so I'm definitely just going to be winging it. We definitely need a, we yeah. need a good foundation. We need to go down. Oh, those girders. Good girders over there, all right? You, yep, yep. You got that little drilling thingy? Bah, nah, 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 nah. Yep, you got hit with the beam. That didn't give you, like, some construction knowledge? <laughs> <laughs> I know what a beam is. I got hit by one. You got hit by a radioactive beam. There you go. Don't your houses just build themselves? I, 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 you know, it's just the two on either side should just build the one in the middle. Right? That's, that's how this works, right? No? Uh, and then uh, let's talk about Horizon. Uh, do you want to tell me... Um, about the the adult superhero who has been assigned to chaperone you all. Oh, um, yes, his name is Kite, um, and he, but he can't fly though. For but this has the name <laughs> Kite, um, and all his powers are earth based. Um, so he can <laughs> control. <laughs> he can control the weather. Yeah, no, 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 I take that back. I take, yeah, 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 I'm going with that. I'm going with that. I'm going with that. 
Yeah, and he's an open comer, <laughs> uh, and he's good friends with my dad, um, Zenith, and so he's he's like assigned to like watch us and watch out for me specifically to see if I got what it takes. Nice. And the roach. Um, what big social event are all five of you missing by being here today? Oh, <laughs> oh the summer fling. Ooh. Oh, the best of all the flings. <laughs> oh gosh, yeah. Heartstorm is probably complaining about this nonstop. <laughs> <laughs> So, so is the summer fling like a, you know how they have those like catapult competitions where they, they <laughs> like shoot watermelons or something? Is, is that what's going on? We don't we don't live in the Midwest, so no, that is not what. Oh, no. it is. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, what what cool thing do your friends uh, text you from this summer fling? <sighs> this is still still oh, for the roach. Ooh. Nice. Um, actually, no, none of us are getting anything because everybody, well, not all of us, most of us are not getting any text because everybody's like, actually like trying not to hurt our feelings, but everybody's sending heart storm, like a bunch of hearts and like, <laughs> like, you know, a bunch of little cute emojis and then like pictures of like, um, like, uh, certain moments with, with people taking selfies and it's got it in sepia and she's like crying, like, you know, oh, she's no. like I can't believe I'm doing, I can't believe I'm doing this instead. Yeah. Heartstorm, oh. your Snapchat is just blowing up. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> they have a geo filter for the summer fling. It's great. <laughs> I mean, in, um, in real life, I had to turn off notifications on my phone and throw it on my bed because it just kept going. Kept going. <laughs> nice. So um, it works. <laughs> the immersion uh, is good. Hephaestus, um, the weather outside as you're doing this Habitat Humanity is uncomfortable. Um, tell me more about the weather. Let's make sure this thing is still on. So I'm thinking that it is... <clears throat> unbearably hot, mm. but also raining. So it's like it's, you know, the 150% humidity and like yep. in the 90s. Oh. Did, that is... are, we, are we still saying that Kite has control over the weather? this to us on purpose. Yeah. I mean, it's community service. He's like... Here, here, here's some stuff for you. Right. And you know what? In that particular case, there's also black ice everywhere. <laughs> oh. Oh. It's unbearably hot and raining. Um, does Hef sweat? Um, that's a good question. I would say that in uh, whatever form he chooses, he could. Okay. Since he does have shape-shifting abilities. Yes, I am a shapeshifter. Cool. The roach so, has energy absorption, so he's just digging this so much. <laughs> the roach is just like, I don't know what you guys are doing. Yeah, exactly. He's like, man, the sun is just beautiful, beaming down, radiantly hot. Oh, man. I can just feel it. Can't you feel it? Can't you see it in the air? You can see the little waves in the air. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and then finally, the bamboozler. Um, what is the reward that you will all get once you're done with your community service? Uh, I mean, I want to say that we're gonna get back to we're we're gonna get back just in time to catch the the big um, like crowning of the 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 summer royalty for the summer fling if we can get this done on time mm. um and uh yeah i mean I, I feel like that's the that's the incentive is if we get it done on, on time we can just catch the end of it and not be total losers nice maybe good <laughs> Okay, so the five of you are 
are cutting wood, hammering nails, um, putting those little like things together that are metal that like sit in your junk drawer. Um, <laughs> you are you are socketing wrenches and and lug nutting tight bolts, um, and you are building some houses for a habitat for humanity. Um, occasionally, uh, occasionally, um, kite will uh, uh, shout out the the different things that you are doing wrong um and kind of roll his eyes as he lies down on one of those like really tacky um pool chase lounges oh. um, and and reads a, a superhero comic book um it is, <laughs> is it his is own comic like, book is there is it so it's like it's raining but i imagine around kite there's just this patch where there's no rain <laughs> yep yep <laughs> He only uses his weather control to make it so that it's not raining on himself. <laughs> um, the background, it's going, it's a beautiful morning. <laughs> <laughs> um, the, the summer fling is in full fling. Um, and It's not raining there. No, no, it's definitely not raining there. Um, the the majority of you, your friends, are are being supportive and um, understanding about your commitments and obligations, and not sending you wave after wave of text um, as they take selfies uh, in the backdrop of the summer fling, or oh. like in front of the big bouncy castle, um, or in line at the dip and dot stand that they carted in, um, with the exception of Heartstorm who it seems like everyone in the school is sending snaps and texts oh, um, and pictures to. <laughs> um, it is unbearably hot and also somehow thunderstorming at the same exact time. Um, and you are all just uh, soaking wet as you're doing this work. Um, no one can really tell if it's more sweat or if it's more rain. Um, but either way, it's sticky and uncomfortable. Um, you know that if you can finish this, uh, this last house, this one last house, you've built 12 already uh, in this weekend. Um, if you can just finish this one last one, uh, you can maybe get back just in time to clean up, uh, change, and catch the crowning of the Summer Fling royalty. Um, and as, uh, as all of this is going together, um, Kite, uh, Kite yells out um, that you have screwed in the screws the wrong way. You, you should have done them counterclockwise, but instead you did them clockwise. Um, and they're going to catch and strip uh, if, if someone tries to, um, tries to move the house again. So you, you all five of you, must uh, take down this last house that you were so close to getting built up um, and, and oh, try and do on, it again. Come on, Kite. It's a house. Are we gonna, are, is someone really going to move it? <laughs> Look, yeah, like, sometimes you gotta move houses, sometimes you gotta build houses. Look, look, like in all seriousness, we're probably gonna wipe out this neighborhood next week anyway. I mean, seriously? <laughs> seriously? Oh. Come on, guys. <laughs> like a meteor's gonna hit or something. Or, you know, some, some like arch enemy of like, you know, one of your guys is gonna show up and there's just gonna be like this total fight and it's just gone. That, that, that's fair. I mean, it's a surprise that no supervillains have showed up already, right? Right? Yeah. You know, that's a good point. <laughs> <laughs> you all look around, oh, like, yeah. uncomfortably, like... At each <laughs> other. <laughs> yeah. The bamboozer, like, goes and knocks oh. on a two-by-four. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is, are, Another are house just like, like is, 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 is Bamboozler doing this in a full on fursuit? Like, oh, no. <laughs> I, I feel like he's got the head off and it's just like sitting there, like in the nasty, muddy pool that the uh, the, oh, the pool poor. lounge thing that Kite's hanging out in. Because I imagine, like, it's you know, Kite is on the little inflatable thing but it's in like a muddy pool somewhere from all this nasty rain and then it's just like sitting there all sad <laughs> <laughs> this brings up a really good point because horizon you just got your super suit back from the dry cleaners and <laughs> it looks spick and span it's a great representation of your family you know legacy and heritage and here you are sweating it in it and getting it covered in mud 
fucking kite. Or, or I should say, or, or kites. Oh man, um, this we we don't have a lot of money. Uh, kite cleaning is expensive for some reason in this city. <laughs> and I mean, it's a super suit. You got to go to a special cleaners. Like. Sure. It's ten extra bucks for the cape every time, right? <sighs> that adds up. Um, you know, you know what you need to do with your super suit is make it one piece, and then the dry cleaner can't say they're doing three different pieces. Same yeah, that's what you gotta do. Hephaestus dropping knowledge from the <laughs> the god of the forge. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yes, uh, you are you are all at this construction site. Bamboozler, bam, bamboozler takes a knock uh, for good luck, and a uh, house just kind of uh, leans over to the side. Um, as you disassemble uh, the house that you have made incorrectly, um, the rain seems to let up a little bit in the east, um, and you you see the poking of the hot, sticky summer sun uh, as it comes down. Um, Heartstorm, you get a text from one of your friends that says um, uh, it's just a, a screenshot of like a an alert, um, and it says uh, lasers and feelings spotted in summer uh, suburbs, um, and a little map that has kind of the area that you're in building these houses. <laughs> um, I, th <laughs> I think I just respond with like. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> um, so, Horizon, you would know um, you would know who Lasers and Feelings are. Uh, they teamed up for a little bit with Amazo um, back Ooh. in the nineties. Damn it! Um, they are a a, a crime duo um, of lasers and feelings. Uh, so, lasers um, has emotional control. Um, and uh, mood auras and all sorts of um, sort of weird, uh, you know, um, empathy powers and feelings. Um, Has is a, Yes. <laughs> feelings carries a lot of laser guns, just <laughs> an, an inappropriate amount of them. <laughs> I know those two, I say to uh, Heartstorm. <laughs> Um, I just want to finish this house and get to the fling, but uh, fine. Should we? Should we? You know, take care of them. Let's let's mix it up. Um, oh. but we have to ditch kite first. <laughs> <laughs> okay, kite, like, so just sniffing I, on a lemonade and like turns a page in his comic book. <laughs> so <laughs> the bamboozler just kind of like stops for a moment and, and does like a little like. <laughs> and then you see, like, basically a version of each of us, like, step out of us in front and then, like, keep doing work, you know? And then we all just, like, walk away, like, whatever, peace, you know, because you can't see us because it's an illusion, right? <laughs> so he's just sitting there reading his comic book, looking up, and, like, you know, he'll yell something, and then one of us will be like, okay. <laughs> and so we all just, like, walk off, like, nothing. <laughs> it sounds like you are trying to reshape your environment. With Absolutely. Your power. Uh, and I would love for you to roll plus freak. All right. That's going to be a 12. Ooh. Well, good. Um, <laughs> yep. uh, so um, these, these mimics step out, and not only are they convincing simulacra of all of you, um, but some of them actually even pick up pieces of wood um, and nails and like put the nails in the wood. Um, <laughs> they're not convincing enough to hammer the nails, but like the, the <laughs> like, press the nails into the wood. Um, well, the nice thing about them is is they're not really making any less progress than we were. So <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Um, as you sneak away, uh, you hear Kite yell, that's not how you use a, a five-fourth twerk. Um, and uh, the the, con the very convincing voice of the bamboozler saying, up yours, and then just like a bunch of like, symbols. Um, 
Exactly. Uh, we'll get that like text bubble uh, off the side of the the panel um, <laughs> as as we get like a big splash page of like all of you sneaking behind some bushes or something. Um, so, uh, Steve, um, you're kind of familiar with this area. You know, actually, um, your mom lives in this neighborhood, uh, and her sister lives down the block from her as well. Um, so you're you're familiar with some of the sort of the back streets um, and and alleyways. Uh, can you uh, tell me um, what it looks like as you find a shortcut to wherever it is that you're wanting to go? Um, basically, the the area that I live in is it's apartments, but they all look the same. It's like you know everything was made very similar, and it's all. Uh, slum lords, you know, guys that are just looking to make a buck. Nothing is fixed up. Everything is raggedy, and you know, it, you know, maybe one step up from the stuff that we were just coming from. So, you know, not much of an upgrade. Um, you know, kids playing out and having a great time, and not knowing that you know this is probably one of the you know one of the. Uh, dangerous neighborhoods too just because everything is just nothing is nothing has a good watchful eye on it everything is just kind of the forgotten area basically so mm -hmm. that's kind of what it looks like um and i think we'll see like an ironic uh billboard for whatever the big megacorp was that was um throwing up a big building that you got uh transformed in um <laughs> And uh, you you slip down an alleyway and say like, hey, here's this spot that we can cut through a couple buildings. You know, um, I know the security codes for them, um, and it just like you you cut through um, and you go uh, towards where you all are going. Um, would someone like to tell me where it is that lasers and feelings were spotted at the community pool? Nice. Mm -hmm. Because it's hot, it's the summer. Supervillain's got to cool off too. Um, so you're you're making it to the pool. Um, and what is one thing that might stand in your way of getting there? I'm gonna again pick on Mike because you answered the pool. So what would be oh. between you and the pool? Mm. Minivans. Yeah. Minivan. <laughs> <laughs> is, it, is it like a car show, but only for like soccer mom vans? <laughs> so they're all like pimped out. And, like, well, with all the superheroes everywhere, you need the safest minivans possible. <laughs> <laughs> and it's all these like minivans decked out in um, surveillance equipment uh, with also, um, you know, like all of these super tools because the main, the big important thing for any, you know, roving gang of supers um, is your, your, you know, all utility vehicle. Um, they can't all be Batmobiles, but that doesn't stop people from trying. Um, and so as you cut through the, the alleyways um, and the buildings to get to the community pool. Can, um, I just, can I just, sorry, can I just fly over the, while <laughs> everyone else is walking, I'll just fly. I mean, yeah. I can fly too, technically. <laughs> <laughs> you just like walk around and like, I can't see us anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I feel like there's a panel where the bamboozler's hand is off of it, and all you see is this as they're walking along. <laughs> uh, oh, yes, good. Um, so can anyone else fly, or is it just the two of you? <laughs> I, uh, Hef can fly. Okay. He just wants to be close with Steve. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. The outsider automatically gets to fly mm -hmm. <laughs> for reasons. So. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I have uh, gravity manipulation, which I, I imagine is like less flying and more like controlled falling. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> kind of like um, the moon. It's like you're moving just enough horizontally that when you fall, <laughs> right? Like I'm just just light enough to be able to be in orbit, like <laughs> six feet off the ground. 
you have to get a you have to get a running start, but then like once you get going, it's just like oh, <laughs> my momentum is carrying me. It's yeah, it's like Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Like you, it's not so much flying as it is failing to hit the ground. Yeah. Good reference. Figure, like you just hand one of us a string and we just like walk along with you like a balloon. <laughs> <laughs> God bless. It's like a little mini Macy's Day Parade. <laughs> Uh, amazing. Yes. So you are all flying <laughs> to get to the community pool, um, and you you see the building, um, and you see the um, the telltale laser bursts uh, that signify feelings is around, and you hear the the horrible wailing and gnashing of teeth uh, that signifies um, lasers is is causing some um, emotional turmoil in the the pool goers. Um, but unfortunately, uh, all of the patrons of the pool um, are here for the annual Supervan convention. <laughs> the, oh, even better, the Super Convention. Yes! Uh, yes! <laughs> Taylor, you're terrible. Uh, why can't they just go hang out of the pool like a normal person? So, um... <sighs> I guess like I guess I'm gonna take point on this and like fly up over the pool and like get an aerial like scope out the 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 scene here. Like what does it look like is going on? Yeah. Uh, thank you for saying that you are taking point because we are going to do something called rolling team. Uh, so when we when we engage in a mission, um, we are going to uh, roll to see how many points of team we have. Um, since we broke our $50 goal for fundraising, we have an extra point of team as well. Um, and I will tell you right now how to roll team as... Wait, it's in the basic moves. Yeah. <laughs> I am smarter than this. Um, when you enter battle against a dangerous foe as a team, uh, add two to the team pool. So we are going to add three because uh, of our donations. Um, so I have a question. Uh, does Heartstorm have influence over every teammate? Right, she does over me. I, I feel like that makes sense, yeah. yeah. Ditto here. Yeah. All right, so that's four team that we have. Uh, does everyone have the same purpose in this fight? Who? Um, well, I'm probably looking for information on Amazo's whereabouts. Mm. I definitely just want to get to the summer fling. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. All right. I'm, I'm there to save the citizens because that's that's what I do. So we cannot answer yes to that one. So that nope. team is lost. Um, does anyone mistrust Heartstorm or the rest of the team? Everybody's cool. I don't trust the panda. <laughs> Ooh. That's okay. That's all right. <laughs> that actually makes sense, though, right? Like, yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Right. not the bamboozler, just the panda, just the. Yeah. Well, the I, I call him the panda. I feel like there's a running gag where, like, he makes it appear that like classroom doors are actually open when they're closed, and oh. so you do the like <laughs> the bird into the window thing like constantly. Oh, oh, beautiful! I love. <laughs> Um, and then, so we are going to take away a point of team for that. Uh, and then, is the team ill prepared or off balance? I, don't, I think we're pretty ready to go. Yeah. yeah. Nice. So we have three points of team. Um, at any point in time in the game, uh, you can spend one of these points of team to uh, tell me how you are getting assistance or giving assistance. Um, that will uh, give a plus one to any role. Um, you can also use team to act selfishly, uh, which removes one team from the pool um, and shifts one label up and one label down. Uh, you can use this option after rolling to alter the label that you're rolling with. So it, affects, it effectively means that you get a, a plus one to your role, but you have to sacrifice a team from everybody else uh, and take a uh, minus one to another stat as well. So, we have three points of team. Um, as Heartstorm 
flies above the community pool center, uh, she sees that a hole has been blasted in the top of the building. Um, and the smell of vaporizing chlorine uh, is, is coming out of the, the hole that has been burst. Um, you look down and you see that, um, you see that lasers has uh, a group of civilians sort of uh, cornered um, and is watching them uh, as if they were hostages, which they are hostages. Um, and feelings is just kind of having a heyday shooting all sorts of stuff. Um, just causing some general mayhem. Um, <clears throat> I should probably, before doing anything, charge up my burn. Yes. Tell me what that looks like. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> so, like, uh, as as Heartstorm is flying over this scene, uh, her, um, like, her tattoos start to glow. Um, and I think, like, she's got, like, I think the tattoos are, a, it's like a bunch of... Um, occult tattoos because I'm all about that theme. Um, but I think the, the tattoos start to burn like a bright pink color. Um, and I'm going to roll this. Yeah, go for it. Um, roll plus conditions marked, which is nothing. Oh, cool. Now it's three. I rolled a five. Oh. Um, so I still uh, get to burn, but I have to mark three conditions. Um, oh. Wow. Um, I think I'm angry and also uh, insecure and also um, afraid. Ooh. Um, Yikes. What are you insecure <laughs> about? Um, like I think I think like as I'm charging at my powers, I <clears throat> get this awful feeling that Kite is gonna realize that uh the us that are back at the at the habitat uh build are just are just illusions and um we're gonna be in trouble again on top of the fact that we have to fight supervillains now. Mm -hmm. uh, uh and then the I understand angry because yeah. You're not at the summer fling. Uh, yeah, your you're... phone buzzes in your pocket as you're like looking down at the scene, and you like <sighs> out. It's like your two best friends are like going down a water slide and taking a picture. Um, <laughs> um, and I uh, think I think I'm actually afraid. Um, I think this is like a a kind of a social fear. Like um, like I am afraid that I'm going to miss the summer fling altogether at this point, um, which is like social suicide. Mm. All right, so you see uh, the task down there. I'll actually give you a free assess roll if you want um, that you can use to ask questions and what have you since you're getting a pretty good uh, beat on the situation. Uh, sure. Um, who here is the most vulnerable to me? Mm. Um, you know uh, you fought one of these two super super villains before um have you which one did you fight did you fight lasers or did you fight feelings before Ooh, um i think i fought lasers which is the okay. one with the feelings powers yeah <laughs> yep so you you know for some reason that their powers do not work on you okay <laughs> all right um has everyone else joined me up here at this point or do i have to fly back to them that is a good question for the rest of the team yeah but I, mean, I, I can i can fly like two or i guess i can fly the whole team out there since i have super strength <laughs> <laughs> horizon just like rises up like holding everybody else <laughs> oh good I'm, like I'm, glad that we have, I'm glad we have daddy in this party this is good <laughs> So, so they just have like Roach and, and the Bamboozler under one under each arm, and then <laughs> right. is Hef like in one of the arms? Is he in the bundle, or is he just like I've got the book done, um, and like 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 that, and then Panda, you're like grabbed onto like my back because you're, <laughs> yes. you're, you're too <laughs> furry. Um, that I do not want to like get more of my costume ruined by holding you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I feel like mud is dripping from the bottom of the head of the costume, like <laughs> under the back, and you don't realize it yet, but you will later. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's great. 
Oh. <laughs> I also love that Hef can fly, but just like chooses to get. <laughs> this <there>. is awesome. <laughs> I, I, I take out from my pocket like this checklist that I created back when I was on my way yes. there. And I just check off like the plug. I was like, "Woo, spring break!" <laughs> <laughs> I just like close it back up, put it back in my pocket. Dear oh. diary, <laughs> Hef is so good. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. Yep. Okay. You are all flying up. You all see the situation. Lasers uh, has people cornered. Feelings is blasting away. And I'm going to ask a question, which is, what do you do now? Uh, anybody? Anybody? Are we down at the ground at this point? No, we're up in the air. Oh, we're, 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 we're overhead, yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I like, have an idea for once I get set down. So, Like, feelings and I go Yeah, away. That, I do too. Yeah. So basically, I'm basically I'm like I'm, I'm like Horizon. I think we got to. I think we have some plans here. If you want to set us down, absolutely. Do we land on the roof? Okay. Right. There's like a there's like a roof with a hole blown in it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you definitely can. Yeah. Let's land on the roof. <laughs> there are okay. still like lasers so basically... coming up through this hole, right? <laughs> like. Yep. So I'm, I'm imagining like we're all standing like the five of us in a little semicircle, and all you see is we're all standing there heroically, and there's like a little light show coming out, right? <laughs> yep. <laughs> all right. So, uh, so the bamboozler is gonna look down at uh, at feelings, and he's he's gonna like basically create like a the illusion of a of a bamboo spear. Right, Ooh. like super heroically, and like cock it back, and he's gonna go, "Hey, eat, shoots, and die," <laughs> and throw it to try to distract him. <laughs> yep. Uh, so it sounds like you are directly engaging this threat, and I would love for you to roll directly engage the threat. <laughs> okay, this is probably gonna go really poorly. Uh, that's a five, six. That's a six. Yeah, it is. Excellent. <laughs> so. <laughs> Um, so you, you yell and, and feelings turns around and catches the spear, uh, directly, um, before it, it hits his face. Um, and, uh, he looks over at lasers and lasers just waves an arm, uh, and your illusion dissipates into the mist. Um, and then lasers pulls out a laser gun, um, and, and gets you with a blast. And I would love for you to mark a condition. Um, Wait, as... lasers pulls out the gun or feelings? No, that's, that's a good, thank you. Feelings. <laughs> this, is, this was a good choice. This is a good <laughs> choice. <laughs> no one would expect it, though. <laughs> lasers has <laughs> lasers. This doesn't make <laughs> sense. That's <laughs> it. All right. I sigh audibly whenever feelings catches the imaginary spear. <laughs> um, I think he's gonna mark angry. I think he is pissed that that his joke did not go over well. He's like, I had an awesome one liner, guys. One of the Come on. gives out like a half hearted like ha oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's on now. Uh but yep, so you 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 mark angry as the the laser bolt hits you in the chest, um, and uh, we are gonna jump into this big old super fight. Um, so Good. feelings gives a nod to lasers down in the building, um, and then uh, activates his uh, his jump lasers and um, <laughs> brings out from the the hole in the the community pool. Um, and sets down uh, on the other side of the, the big blasted hole in yeah. front of you um, and pulls out two uh, big old laser um, laser boys and just starts like <laughs> pew pewing at all five of you. Um, <laughs> how, how far away is he? Uh, an appropriate amount of distance. <laughs> um, I fly into the building um, proper and then uh, I see... Like one of those, uh, like one of those miniature machines that you get cokes out of, mm. um, and I grab it and I throw it at feelings. Nice. So you you just yank it up. Uh, tell me what it looks like as you rip it directly out of the wall. I mean, it's it's just like plugged into the thing because um, it's one of the it's just like hooked up to the outlet. So oh, I right. lift it. And very easily, very easily, like uh, people are like, "Ooh!" The, the crowd is kind of like, uh, like a little slightly amazed. Um, and 
I, I hurl it at them, uh, mm. at feelings specifically. Okay. So and, you're, and, and, uh, you're hurling it up. As, the as I throw it, um, sprites come flying out. Yep. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Sprite, one of the sponsors of this Saturday morning. Show. Yes, yes. And we'll be. I think at this point, like with the with the um, the machine like going up out of the hole and the sprites trailing out, it's like we cut to commercial and it's a Sprite commercial. It is a Sprite, <laughs> and all the cans are faced, right? So yep. they're all like. Not only is it a Sprite commercial, but it's like one of those Sprite tie-ins for this show. So it's like, <laughs> now you can get your own uh, Horizon action figure. And it's like Horizon like throwing a, a vending machine into <laughs> stacked cans of Sprite. <laughs> when I'm building a of you, I use Sprite. <laughs> <laughs> yes, perfect. Oh my God. But it's 100 um, degrees and also pouring. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and I think with that commercial break, uh, let's take a couple minutes. I'm going to refill my water, and we will come back uh, in the middle of this highfalutin action scene. Amazing. Sounds good. <laughs> So I'm a little sad. The only soda I had was a, a Dr. Pepper. Oh, no. Um, no. I, was, I wish I had a Sprite, you know? I feel like it would be thematic. I, have to come up, I feel like I have to come up with like a quippy line for him to say after he throws the Sprite or the, 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 the giant thing. Uh, I mean, 
So you got lemon lime, you got Sprite, you got. Uh, oh, is it is it Doctor Pib in Halicon City? In Halicon, <laughs> <laughs> is that a thing? It's actually, uh, a PhD. Bob. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> PhD salt. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Are we good to go? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Nice. Let's so be super. Now let's get back to the adventures of um and I would love for Horizon to roll to directly engage a threat as yeah. he throws this uh vending machine up. So, so it's two D six, right? Yep, two D six plus your danger label. And let me see. So ten. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> this group is rocking it. Like, I gotta say. No. Um, <laughs> except for the fives that we've rolled. <laughs> um, which, by the way, if, if you have rolled a, a six or lower on any of your moves, you should be marking potential. Um, once you reach five potential, uh, you can trade those five in for uh, some of the advances listed in your playbook. Um, I don't know if we'll get to it in one uh, session. Um, but that would be fantastic. Yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I mean if, I that, if I rolled that many sixes, I'd probably Just, be dead. You haven't seen me start rolling yet, so. <laughs> oh, <okay>. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, 10. Uh, what does it look like as feelings get clocked right in the, in the face, I think? Ooh. Ooh. Uh, well, they definitely get, like, upended. Um, they do a wheelie, and then la la lasers is just like, huh? Uh, that wasn't an illusion, too? <laughs> <laughs> Again, we get we get the off-panel hands like that. <laughs> <laughs> like, right, so you can see the, the knuckles here, here. Yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> uh, but... Yep, so uh, the vending machine keeps going on this arc, um, and uh, let's let's say, Hephaestus, uh, you and the roach see and can tell by its trajectory um, that if left unchecked, this big old vending machine is going to crash right into one of the nice fancy vans parked outside. <laughs> oh, no! So I, I put my hand on Hef because I could see his face, and I'm like, I got this. And so, um, <laughs> as it know, is that I also have uh, little antennas on my awesome suit, which is yellow with brown. Just yeah. yeah. And uh, it begins it begins to chitter a little bit. And you see a little bit of energy flowing between the antennas. Yep. And um, you see about, I don't know, about 100... Uh, Roaches come up from just absolutely nowhere, go on top of the van, and form like a uh, basically a, a Legend of Zelda type ripoff of a shield that's uh, got this yellow energy to it, yellow radiation energy to it, and it just waits there for it, and it just just basically just kind of like breaks it into pieces, just. <laughs> And you and pop just sprays everywhere. Unfortunately, yes. some cars are going to get covered with some Mister Pib and some Tab and you know stuff like that. So. A fate worse than death. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> nice. As the the cars in the lot drip with sticky soda, um, we will uh, we'll cut back to uh, Hef and say, um, "What are you doing here?" Well, let's see. So. Uh, <clears throat> Bamboozler seems pretty angry, as does uh, Heartstorm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which I think is very much clouding their judgment on how to do things. Um, but I'm going to focus on Heartstorm as our leader, and I am going to explain how it's all right. You know, you're just like all you guys on Earth. You're just awesome, and sometimes things don't go your way, and there's no reason to get down about it or really angry about it. And I'm going to do a comfort and support to try right. and strip away that condition. Yes, good. Good. 
Seven. Nice. Uh, so on a seven for comfort and support. Oop, that's the playbooks. Um, Mark potential clear conditioner shift labels. Yes. Yeah. So <clears throat> I think that I think I'm actually comforted and maybe even supported, and I will um, clear angry. <laughs> nice. So with with Hef's words, uh, uh, clearing your anger from your your eyes. <laughs> Um, you survey the scene and you see feelings on the roof uh, starting to pick himself up uh, and mm -hmm. pull a gun to to fire it um, at Hef. You also see lasers down in the pit turning from the hostages uh, to sort of raise their hands up at Horizon. Uh, um, what do you do? So so I, I, turn, I turn to Hef and I say, um, <clears throat> if you take this one, I'll take the one in the building. Um, and uh, before even hearing an answer, I fly down um, to confront lasers. Hell yeah! Uh, and I think like like when I land, like I make gravity really strong where I land, so it just Ooh. so I just hit the ground so hard. Um, and uh, you know, I actually I think I'm gonna do this dramatically and um, spend a burn to uh, make this uh, worship. Um, make oh. this like a tremendous display of my might, mm. um, and uh, and like just just hit the hit the ground like a meteor, and and make a crater, and really um, awe everyone, um, <laughs> it, like villains and hostages alike, um, and maybe yeah. even my team members, um, yeah. awe them into silence. I I actually. Attention. Every, every, no, the thing is though, everybody is in in like an awe and in silence, and then all of a sudden I go, "Hot storm!" And everybody <laughs> kind of turns towards me, and I go, Whoa. <laughs> like, "Turn my back and kind of walk a couple feet to the right." You're like, I'm too excited there. Uh, so I have to roll. I have to roll at least my powers. So. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, oh! I rolled two ones. I rolled two <laughs> ones. Oh no! Yeah. <laughs> well, I can mark another potential. <laughs> yep, yep. I like to um, think you overdid it. It's yeah. okay. Hey. <laughs> you went through the ground. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, so you, you ran down the sprite. <laughs> yeah. Just like a pool of of sprite, standing <laughs> shin deep. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, but it does look really cool. Um, okay. It awes everybody around uh, that can see it, including in including lasers. Okay. Um, and Horizon, you see that lasers is momentarily distracted uh, and has their hands sort of almost up uh, to unleash their powers at you. Um, but you you see this moment, uh, and it would be a moment to strike. Um, how far away are they from me? Uh, they are as far away as you want them to be. All right. Um, so I I jump at them. I don't fly. I, since I have super strength, I'll like use like I'll put all the strength in my legs so I can propel forward um, mm -hmm. much faster than I normally would be able to. And I aim for their jaw with like my fist. I'm just like I want to take you out. Nice. Yes. Please roll to directly engage this threat. Shit. Uh, let's see. I got four, but you know what? I'll use one of my powers. Um, I'll use fight the good fight, and I'll change that to a six. No, I'm sorry, a seven. A seven. Okay, cool. And what what is fight the good fight again? Um, so when I when you pull your punches while directly against you get threats, you can roll plus savior instead of plus danger. Hmm. So if you, do, you cannot choose to impress, surprise, or frighten your foe. Yep. Um, so what does it look like as you're, you're still attacking uh, lasers, but you are pulling your punches? Um, yeah, so I'm pulling it uh, because he's standing a little bit too close to the crowd. So I don't want to necessarily hit him where people get hurt. Mm. So I aim for the jaw, but I aim in a way that will cause them to go down instead of out. Um, so when I connect, maybe I connect a little less than I should 
so that they crumble down and bend a knee. Mm, yep. So lasers takes a knee. Um, and on a seven through nine, uh, I would like for you to pick one of these three, resist or avoid their blows, uh, take something from them, or create an opportunity for your allies. Oh, I will create an opportunity for my allies. Nice. Um, so as as you take uh, feel or as you take lasers down to their knees, um, they uh, put their hands up to you since you are so close. Your punch gives them an opening uh, to unleash their powers, and you feel um, you feel uh, a huge sense of fatigue and mental exhaustion uh, as their their powers uh, unleash upon you. And I would like for you to take a powerful blow, uh, which is rolling with the amount of conditions that you have marked. And on this roll, you want to roll low. All right. All right, so that's nine. Do I add anything with that? Uh, if you have any conditions marked, you would add that number. Oh, I don't. So just okay. nine. Yep. So on a seven through nine, uh, choose one of these. You lash out verbally, provoke a teammate to fo foolhardy action or take advantage of your influence to inflict a condition. Uh, you give ground, your opposition gets an opportunity, or you struggle past the pain and mark two conditions. I will struggle past the pain and mark two conditions. Nice. And what are those conditions that you are marking? I am going to do angry mm -hmm. and guilty. Nice. Uh, so I have something for angry. As you as you feel yourself get hit by lasers, emotional moves, uh, they they look up at you and they sneer and say, "Your uncle would be so disappointed." I growl so, at them. <laughs> what was that? I growl at them. Nice. Yes. Good. Um, let's cut back up to the rooftop squad. So Hef, uh, feelings is, is getting up, pulling a laser gun from, uh, from their jacket, um, and aiming to shoot at you. So real quick, uh, the roach is able to absorb energy. It sounded like from earlier. Mm -hmm. All right. So I'm going to, I'm going to use my radical shape shifting. I'm going to turn myself into a extremely highly reflective surface. Mm. And when that laser bolt comes at me, redirect it down to the roach. Yeah, nice. <laughs> uh, I would like for you to unleash your powers. All right. So that's a freak roll, right? Yes. All right, I can actually do that. That is six, seven, eight. Nice. On a seven through nine, you mark condition or uh, let me tell you how the effect is unstable or temporary. I'll do that one. The unstable or temporary? Yeah. Okay. So uh, you you change the refraction index of your your own skin uh, to represent the the metal of your, of the forge, um, and you direct this light bolt to the roach. However, it's not instantaneous. Um, and as this beam of light moves from you to the roach, it burns a path in its wake, uh, which cuts through some of these fancy vans, unless someone has uh, something that they want to do. <laughs> the, the silence says yep, it all. It, I think so. <laughs> so um, this, is, this is where the budget for the episode goes, because as it cuts through like some of these vans, they explode in like... Inordinately um, superfluous, like yes. <laughs> bursts. Um, uh, Michael Bay was the guest director on this one. Um, <laughs> but I, I also like to think that, like they they intersperse it with like reaction shots of different people who were holding sprite cans um, <laughs> as the, the the van blows up, and then they go to like a person who's like, "Oh no!" and then they go to the same shot of the van blowing up. So you see the same like two vans blow up three different times. <laughs> yes, <laughs> beautiful, um, and. The roach, the light comes into you and it hits your body and you feel yourself absorb all of this energy. Uh, you're getting stronger and stronger and stronger. Uh, however, the, um, the unleashing powers of this energy burst um, 
cause your your body to whip and wind around, um, and you feel the fabric of your mask start to tear. No one knows except for Hef your true identity. Um, and as you yeah. look down into the community pool, uh, you see your aunt as a hostage <laughs> staring up at you. <laughs> oh, it's real. <laughs> um, so with this pool, are, is it an indoor pool? I'm kind of, mm. I don't know. What... Yeah, um, let's let's consider it a, a Wisconsin Dells sort of situation. So there's an indoor pool system and then some like water slides that go out of the building and a couple of the water slides are like open air. Um, it's just a big old building with a lot of fun water stuff inside of it. Okay, so now that I, I feel that, that the, my mask is coming off and I don't want anybody to see anything, I see like a changing room that obviously no one's going to be in because everyone's either hiding or like in plain view, basically. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to jump in there and try to figure out how to get right. this thing back together somehow or, you know, how, how to figure out how to do this without my super suit. I have a terrible idea. <laughs> Do say I'm more. For so, so you could always borrow the bamboozler's panda head <laughs> when the mask comes off, <laughs> and then he'll just like pull up the hood of his panda hoodie and pull the strings. Yes. Nice. So, so basically, as soon as as soon as you see that happening, the the bamboozler is just like he's like for some reason just kicks into high yeah. gear and he's like, Foomp. and I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> and then and then the little ears on the suit start twitching like the antenna. Um, <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> um I have a question for the bamboozler. Yes. Um as the mask comes off, do you try to catch a peek of their face? I think no. I okay. I, I think he, he respects that a little bit. Cause he, he doesn't really want to know. Um because he doesn't really trust himself. Aww. I think. I think that's the thing. Like he, he knows he's got a big mouth and he wouldn't be able to resist telling people. Mm. Nice. So I think the panel is the bamboozler looking like this and then just going thump. <laughs> <laughs> kind of scrapes down the side Sorry. of my face. Just like, where my oh. brain went. I like the idea that the bamboozler has like illusionary abilities instead of like illusioning the mask back. Like yeah, takes yeah. the most like <laughs> drastic <laughs> option that oh, yeah. is like the most unwieldy. I, uh -huh. Eight plus. Well, he could have at least. Yeah, he could have even illusioned the head. He doesn't yeah. need a big yeah. old you know for a head, but yeah. perfect. <laughs> um, and uh, bamboozler at this. Um, actually, no, we'll say it's Heartstorm because you've been getting texts all game. Um, <laughs> so you get a text. Uh, on your phone, and as you you look at it in the middle of the I have fight, to look at, I'm in the middle of combat, but I can't, I can't not look at <laughs> it. Yeah. Um, you see that it's uh, Kite texting you. Um, oh, no. It says, care to explain? And then there's a picture that has like two illusions just sort of clipped together. <laughs> uh, We're trying to speed run this build. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It, it's got to be frame perfect. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh no. Uh, oh. And I would like for you to take a powerful blow as your your fear of being um, discovered in this ruse uh, has become reality. Sure. I have two conditions. That's. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I rolled an eleven. Yeah, <laughs> that's real bad. That's real bad. You're gonna read okay. all your conditions today. So, uh, on a ten plus, uh, either remove yourself from the situation, uh, which means flee, pass out, etc. Um, you lose control of yourself or your powers in a terrible way. Oh no! Or uh, two options from the seven to nine. Huh. Um. Which is lash out verbally, give ground, or struggle past the pain. Um, I think um, I think I lose control of my powers in a terrible way. Mm. Um, <laughs> Nova, make it happen. 
the Nova. We need we need someone to make the sad happen. Um, <laughs> oh jeez. Um, I think like um, so, you know, like okay, so um, you know how like when um, I don't I don't know like I don't know if this ever happened to any of you, but um, when you're like in high school you're playing and you're playing hooky and like you see someone you know um oh. and <laughs> and like they know where you're supposed to be and like you just um like all of your anxiety just kind of condenses into this like uh, into this just like heavy sphere of panic in the bottom of your stomach and um i think like I think this happens to Heartstorm, except like when that anxiety condenses, like it literally condenses into like mm. um, a mini neutron star kind of thing. Um, and like the local gravity around her just becomes extreme. Um, and this building starts collapsing. Yeah. Oh my God. This is perfect. So is it pulling down or is it pulling everything to her? So we I think end up in just like a ball around her. I think it's pulling everything into towards her. Or like <laughs> towards the place where she's standing. Mm -hmm. So like the um the cement and tiles that were hanging straight down uh from the holes that you punched like start to like creak and shake mm -hmm. and move in towards you. Um mm -hmm. and the the roof on top of the building uh starts to creak and sort of bend in. Um Horizon you and um you and lasers start sliding um, as you are are like pressed together in combat uh, towards the the hole that Heartstorm left. Um, we haven't heard from the Roach in a little bit. Um, how are you doing with this uh, fursuit head on? Um, <laughs> and follow up. So basically, question, what happens? Uh, does it give you yes. a lot of, of of field of vision? to sort of make sense of why you are now like having a difficult time standing straight. <laughs> so basically when this, when Heartstorm's powers arise and everything just kind of go into going to crap, um, it turns like the, the, the vision or the look of the roach basically turns into like a teen Titans, almost like an anime thing where he's got the panda hell panda <laughs> uh, head on. And all of a sudden it's like, it, it gives that face like, <gasps> Like with the starry eyes and like a, and a, like a heart emoji for Heartstorm, but it's like a sad one. And then all of a sudden, it's, it's like, and then basically, like turns his head one way and turns his head another way really quick, not knowing that he's not used to this panda head on. And so it just basically whoosh, just kind of turns around and he's basically kind of blind for a moment, like, oh no, I, you know, like I'm not used to this, you know. <laughs> <laughs> brings it uh brings it back and he has it kind of held on his head yeah. and um what he decides to do and he knows that this is probably like the worst thing to do he is down on the ground uh one knee on the ground puts both of his hands on the building and uh, attempts to absorb all of the energy that she just expelled mm. oh wow Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Exactly. So you you slap your hands onto this brick wall and you feel the vibrations come through your joints and into your bones and down to your feet. Uh, and you can feel like the air inside your lungs rumble. Um, and I would like for you to take a powerful blow, um, but hold on to the results. I will have you tell me in a moment. Uh, just roll it and then remember what you okay. get. Because we are going to... So basically I want to roll low on that, right? Yep, you want to roll as low as you can. Uh, you are going to add the amount of conditions that you have marked. Okay, sounds good. Um, right, and I'll save it. we'll cut from that image to uh, Horizon and lasers. Um, as you have your arms like wrapped around each other in like fight in a struggle, um, you are trying to overcome the the mental exhaustion um, and and uh, despair that lasers is pumping into you. Um, and y the words your uncle bo your uncle would be disappointed are still echoing in your head. Uh, what do you do? I mean, I'm plenty angry about that. Um, and if I've got a good lock on them, I mean, I, 
does does lasers have super strength or anything like that? I don't think so, but because of the exertion that you're spending to like gotcha. try and keep going, I think that your strengths are probably matched pretty well here. Um, in that case, um, is lasers uh, is is lasers male? Uh, I've been using they them, so let's just say a gender for lasers. Okay, um, I. I, I gouge them. I gouge them in the eye. Um, <laughs> <ooh. laughs> Which is not super superhero y, but I feel like that's the classic move. That yeah. I just feel like, mm -hmm. oh, I take their eyes out. <laughs> um, nice. I get, ooh, uh, that's not good. Um, let me see. I got a five. Yeah. So, um, you you go to um, to gouge uh, gouge lasers in the eye, um, and they bring up a knee uh, straight into uh, your groin, and you you both kind of stagger back. Um, you 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 have broken free from lasers. Um, uh, this this move created an opening for you to slip out, but you are doubled over in pain. Um, and they uh, they are standing up in front of you um, with their arms outstretched. I will have you take a powerful blow. Um, which is going to be uh, the result of their physical attack and the emotional salvo that they are, are throwing your way right now. Um, and I'll also have you um, mark a condition from that failure. Oh, okay. Um, so then, let me see, I'm going to mark, what do we got here? I'm going to mark hopeless. Mm. So then... That gives me a 10 on the take a powerful blow. Yeah, so uh, either remove yourself from the scene uh, by fleeing, passing out, etc. Uh, lose control of yourself or your powers in a terrible way, uh, or choose two options from that list of lash out verbally, give ground, or struggle past the pain. Mm. Uh, keep in mind, once you mark all five conditions, uh, you must remove yourself from the scene by fleeing or passing out, etc. Wait, can I do the never give up, never surrender in this instance? Um, possibly. What does that move do? Uh, when you take a powerful blow from someone with far greater power than you, yep. you move instead of the basic move? Yeah. All right. So then I'll roll that plus savior, which is four. So that's I rolled a two and then plus the savior, that's four. Do I also add conditions to that? Um, I don't believe that you would because you're rolling with that. Um, there is three points of team in the team pool. Uh, if you can tell me how three of your friends are helping you in this situation, you could make that up to a seven. Um, or you can take the, uh, take the four. Uh, I think the, the bamboozler actually has emotional control. So I think at this point, like, he, he sees all this crazy stuff going around him mm. and he's got, um, uh, one of those little cardboard things of, of Pucky, and he's just sitting there just sort of munching it. He okay. has all this stuff that's going on around him. He's like, hey man, you got this! Right? And like, he's just like, yeah. And he sort of like puts his hand out and is basically like channeling all that like, don't let him, you know, don't let him get to you, man. Screw this guy. Yeah, awesome. Uh, well, on a four, they missed me, right? Uh, does it... Um... So what's the, I should look at the wording of. It says uh, on a seven through nine market condition, but it says on a miss, you go down hard, but leave your opponent off balance and vulnerable. Oh, okay. Yep. So it just, uh, it just changes that. So, um, well, we can uh, say that the bamboozler did a comfort support on this one um, because uh, I think Horizon, um, the power of lasers uh, emotional turmoil makes you stagger back and you fall backwards into um, the hole left by Heartstorm. Um, and <laughs> the, the two of you like stumble and fall down into this um, like dingy basement, uh, shin deep of Sprite, um, with everything <laughs> sort of like collapsing in on this area. Um, but uh, Bamboozler's words come down to both of you actually, um, and the the result of, of this role will uh, tell us what happens to both of you. 
that's uh, an eight. So on a hit, uh, you uh, mark potential, clear condition, or shift labels uh, if you are cool with that. So I, I think he's he's actually like projecting the mm -hmm. the calming aura of a cute panda video into your <laughs> minds. <laughs> Um, the caveat is if they um, if they open up to you. So yeah. Heartstorm you and mean. Horizon, do you hear Bamboozler's words <laughs> and do you open yourself to them? I do. Yes. Oh, um, I you know I don't I I don't think heartstorm does i think um i think she is um like panicked about about kite discovering that they that they're not there and then on top of that additionally panicked that she is losing control of her powers mm. um and the situation is becoming really bad yeah. um so how much how much uh, blame is she putting on him too? Because it was his illusion that screwed up. That's true. Uh, Ooh, I actually, go. I don't, I don't think she's there yet. Okay. Um, but <laughs> that's coming. <laughs> that, that might be coming. Okay. Um. <laughs> right now she's thinking, okay, I'm going to kill all these people if I can't control this. <laughs> yeah, that's that's bad. So. Um, Horizon, uh, you can uh, mark potential, clear condition, or shift labels uh, if you'd like um, from that emotional uh, words from Bamboozler. And we are now going to see what's happening with the Roach. <laughs> I rolled an eight. Ooh. So you either lash out verbally, you give ground, or you struggle past the pain. Um, just because... Um... Actually, I'm going to. I'm going to do the "I'll save you" move, mm. if that's okay with you. Um, I'm going to. I'm willing to pay high cost to keep my loved ones safe. Um, so, even though I have both hands on the ground trying to absorb this energy, I kind of shake off the panda mask, and I look to the bamboozler and. pull off the mask completely and throw it on the ground. Mm. And I see, look, I look to the bamboozer and I say, thank you, friend. And I fight through the pain. There we go. Uh, so you reveal your secret identity to the bamboozler watching. Um, and you defend loved ones as if you rolled a 12 plus. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. So, um, <laughs> The shaking of the building uh, quiets. The falling tiles and linoleum um, hang in the middle of the air. Um, Heartstorm, you feel you still feel the stress and anxiety of being discovered, um, mm -hmm. but the majority of your powers have been sort of nullified from okay. around you, uh, which has never happened before, um, and. Uh, while you are still, you know, you still have all your conditions and everything, mm -hmm. um, the the current disaster seems to have abated from some place. Um, you hear the sighs of relief from the hostages above, um, but this release is short-lived as the face of lasers uh, peers down the hole that you've made uh, and gives a grin. Um, oh. We will cut back up to uh, Hephaestus on the roof um, as feelings... Um, regains his balance um, and uh, looks down to check on on lasers, um, seeing that they're okay, uh, pulls two more small little laser pistols from their oh, no. <laughs> Um and one is going to uh, one is going to fire at you and one is going to fire at the bamboozler. And what I'm still do you in, do? I'm still in my like super reflective form, right? Uh, you can be, yes. So I'm just going to kind of look at him for a second or, you know, ambiguous, whatever uh, feelings is. It just says, like, that didn't work last time. How is it going to work this time? <laughs> it's a different color laser, right? Ooh. <laughs> uh, and I think as you say that, um, 
Are you are you trying to like just taunt them or like provoke them or anything, or are you I'm, just I'm, saying like? I'm walking closer as I go, and Ooh. as I'm talking, I start talking louder and saying, um, basically, I'm going to throw out support towards my seat towards my team. Okay. And just basically trying to calm everybody down to regroup. Mm. With, you know, a simple mirror interferes with your powers. What do you think a group of superheroes is going to do to you in a moment? Yeah, I like that. So I'm going to roll uh, comfort and support. Yep. I rolled an eight. An eight. So, um, Everybody listening uh, can mark potential, clear a condition, or shift labels. Uh, if they, if you open up to uh, the words of Hef as um, as he taunts feelings on the road. Yeah. So I, I think Bamboozler is definitely going to be cool with that. He's feeling feeling the love. Um, I picture him um, as uh, the Roach. Reveals his identity to him. He like walks over to him, and he's he's got like two hockey sticks in his hand, and he like reaches over and gives him one. He's like, "Steve, secret safe with me, man." And then he like eats it. And I so did that prevent the laser from being fired? Because I totally see him completely ignoring feelings, and then just. Boom! Blasted! Like totally doesn't see it coming. He's like having this awesome moment, and then <laughs> that's actually a really good question. Um, so, um, like I, I will, I will voluntarily fail the role because I think it's funny. Yeah. So yeah. Um, I think that that does happen. Uh, so awesome. a simple mirror uh, can defeat your powers. What do you think a team of superheroes is going to do? Um, and everyone gets that benefit of hearing that, but. Feelings goes, you know what? You're right. And instead of pointing uh, one of the lasers at each of you, um, he points both of them at Bamboozler. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> um, and unleashes laser hell. Awesome. Um, what, and so, what? Ooh, can I fly up and take the lasers? Ooh, you could. Um, well, well now, since I've done this and he's like turned his focus, can I just like hit him in the back of the knees so he falls in the hole? Oh, absolutely. Please do that. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. I'm going to shoot. Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, just like literally like a gentle push into the hole. Is like, Thanks. <laughs> yeah. Uh... All right. To do that, I am going to. So on my sheet, it says that I am pretty tough. Does that do anything? Um, I think it would mean like if a building fell on you, you'd oh, okay. generally be OK or right. something. Thankfully, the powers and masks are pretty like um, open ended. So, all right. Since I was never actually going to engage anybody directly, let me see what that does. So, this is directly engage a threat. Yep. All right. Sorry, guys. <laughs> it might actually. I I may allow defend because no, if no, you're no, no, trying no. to prevent these shots from hitting the bamboozler. So, what would defend? Okay. So, right now the base is a ten. Oh. Uh, where is defend? Uh, defend is... Um, roll plus savior. Yeah, roll plus savior. It's on the same basic moves. It's in the All same right. column as directly engage. I will take that instead. Okay. So, so I rolled a 10. On a hit, give them minus 2 to their roll. Oh, that's for PC threats. Yep. Um... So on a, on a 10 for NPC threats, um, there's no downside. So Bamboozler is safe, uh, and, um, and Feelings topples into the hole, um, landing uh, in the, the water of the community pool. We'll get like a Wes Anderson-style like upwards shot uh, as their body like hits down. Actually, no, it's more of like a Scarface shot because I imagine that they're, they're having some rough issues. Um, uh, so like... Can Sorry. I say that at like so we're looking up, right? As the yes. body hits and then the water splashes up and you see the bamboozler and half up there and <laughs> wordlessly he's just holding out the other stick of pocky to him. <laughs> <laughs> That's just kind of like it and, you know. This is the greatest spring break ever. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> and I like to think that the, the hoodie also has the little ears that come out and both of them are slightly singed just right at the top because the lasers went <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh right. perfect. Okay, so uh feelings splashes down into the pool. Um lasers is standing at the top of the second hole down into the basement, um, staring down at Horizon and Heartstorm. Uh, okay. who are picking themselves up. Right. <laughs> um, so, uh, and um, you said her, uh, uh, um, lasers powers don't work on me? They do not. Right? Yep. Okay. Um, so, uh, <laughs> um, I think... You know, so I think I'm gonna fly up and just punch them. I think I'm gonna punch them with my fist. I don't have super. Yeah. Power, I don't have super strength or anything, but like I can just fly up there and punch them. I'm gonna directly engage the threat. Hell yeah, that is badass. <laughs> um, which is danger. Does anyone want to help me? <laughs> Mark potential. <laughs> um, I might actually get to five potential. Uh, that's a. Uh, that's a a four. <laughs> oh yeah uh so you fly up um going to punch them uh and they know that their powers don't work on you so they just grab you by the throat and redirect your flight patterns to send you into a wall oh um, okay <laughs> and uh i'll have you take a powerful blow here sure um Oh, good. That's a five. The, the one time that I want to get a five. <laughs> yeah. Oh, phew. You stand strong. You mark potential as normal and say how you weathered the blow. Um, I think I, um, I like shift gravity so that I land on the wall. Like oh. I land on my feet sideways on the wall. <laughs> yes. Um, and we'll get like an Inception style like rotation of the camera. Yep. <laughs> it's like Heartstorm <laughs> standing up normal. Mm -hmm. um, and and lasers is like th there, um, mm -hmm. like holding you. Um, Horizon, what is going on with you? Uh, am I still mentally exhausted? Uh, I think not at the moment anymore. All right. Um, then I unleash my powers. Um, I fly up for, uh, behind um, lasers, who has just uh, thrown. Um, Heart storm towards the wall, so I fly up behind them um, to like take out the concrete behind them. Um, so I fly through the concrete, uh, creating mm -hmm. an island, so that they'll go ahead and try and like fall into the hole that I just flew out of. Yeah, nice. Uh, so when you unleash your powers to overcome an obstacle, reshape your environment, which is sounds like is what you're doing, uh, or extend your senses, roll plus freak. Oh, I, I got a five. <laughs> oh, yep. We're just all fives now. Oh, but I get to mark a potential. Yep, you mark potential. Um, <laughs> so uh, you you shoot up with your superpowers, um, but you miscalculate your traje trajectory, um, and you you slam up um, not behind uh, not behind lasers, but directly up into the pool of water. <laughs> um, so the the water <laughs> absorbs the force of your explosion. Um, and actually the shockwaves ripple back at you. Um, and uh, you, you punch a hole through the bottom of the pool um, and it starts to drain into it. And I would love for you to take a powerful blow as you are pummeled by water, uh, cement, um, and all sorts of this. The, the only benefit is that um, when, you, when you stand up again after this powerful blow, um, feelings is going to be right there next to you. Um, so I got a nine. Nine. Uh, lash out verbally, uh, give ground, or struggle past the pain. I lash out verbally. Yeah, ver ver uh, wait, am I lashing out at my teammates, or am I lashing out against anyone? Yeah, it's a teammate. It's a teammate, uh, yeah. Um, let me think. Yeah, I lash out at Heartstorm. And I'm, and I'm like, fair. that's why you don't punch someone if you don't have super strength. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair. 
Thanks, uh, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Daddy. Um, so, are you are you provoking Heartstorm to foolhardy action, or are you taking advantage of an influence to inflict a condition upon her? Uh, I, I'm uh, going for the foolhardy action. Okay. Okay. Do you want me to do that now? Um, we will get to that foolhardy action, okay. but I want to. Um, I don't want to leave the three other teammates hanging out on the roof with with nothing to do. So the three of you um, see uh see feelings topple over into the pool um you see uh, heartstorm burst out of the uh, hole in the cement and gets um thrown into a wall where she uh is now standing against and then you see um a a large like crack appear in the bottom of the pool and water starting to to seep down um the hostages at this point uh have started to flee um but this building is unstable um, and as uh, a couple pieces of cement do fall down, um, gravity is no longer causing it to rip apart. But it's not going to be stay. It's not going to stay upright for very much longer. What do you do? Mm. Yeah. Uh, I guess. Um, try and get people out because uh, lasers should theoretically be pretty distracted. So um, I think the bamboozler is going to try and like hop down to the first level mm -hmm. um, and then basically put up like a, a bamboo screen behind lasers and then just start ushering people out so that he can't see or they can't see what's going on. They know something's going on, but he tries to get them out of there. Nice. Yes, absolutely. And I love that this is the delinquent doing this. Yeah. Dating yeah. all these people. Um, this is really great. Yeah. Actually, I'll join. I'll actually join him and I'll use my mild mannered ability. Okay. Because oh, nice. um, even though they're kind of distracted, I can still use my civilian identity to uh, slip past somebody. So I can use my mundane to help everybody out without hopefully being seen by the other two supervillains. I have an idea it, of what this looks like. One of the people in there. Well, totally. Yeah, you, you, you were just at the pool or something, right? Mm -hmm. That's, That's what I was right. thinking. I, I think, um, yeah. So you you drop down. Um, uh, Bamboozler is like ushering people out, and Steve is is there in the hostages. Um, Steve, your aunt. Uh, sees you as everyone is running out and just runs over and wraps you in a big hug and says, Oh my God, Steve, I'm so glad that we're okay. Uh, we need, we, we need to get out of there, out of here. Where, where did all of this come from? It's okay, Janice, uh, uh, Aunt Janice. Um, <laughs> everything's going to be fine. As you can see, no, well, hold on. Gotta get my voice. It's okay, Aunt Janice. Just to let you know, it, the supers are here now. So now you can get out. Um, you need to get to safety. Your old frail body can't take all this damage. And this, this building to a close, if you know what I mean. This pool is being closed for cleaning. So you need to get out of here while you can. Try to grab as many people as you can, and I'm going to help also. Yeah, we, we got to get going. Uh, are, are you okay? Do you have, have you heard from your mom? She's 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 working her second job right now. She's fine. So what? Okay, just don't yeah. worry about me. Just go. Okay. Okay. I'm going. Uh, what? Wait. What? Are, you said don't worry about you, but I think at this point you've like, like dipped into the crowd, and so we'll get like a long frame of your aunt like looking worried, um, as people are are running. Um, and then half you are the last one still up on top of this roof. What's going on, buddy? I am walking over to Lasers. Who is the who is the super villain still up here? Right. Uh. No. Um. Uh, lasers is down fighting uh, Heartstorm and both feelings. Down. Yeah, both of them are down. Feelings uh, jumped down into the pool. You cannot see feelings anymore okay. because he was swept uh, into the hole in the bottom of the pool. All right, I'm gonna fly down to uh, Lasers. Yep. Who is you know facing off? I'm going to activate my pheromones. Okay. And I'm going to grab and just like give it a give him a, like a really long like hot kiss and okay. would you try to provoke someone <laughs> all right this is completely normal <laughs> it's 
spring break. I was surprised that we made it two hours and 15 minutes into a game that I'm running, and, and that's how long <laughs> it took for one person to kiss another person. <laughs> so that is a nine. Okay. So I'm going uh, to do uh, they air. You gain a critical opportunity. Mm. So I think that uh, at this, um, you you like run over and like pull their face in for a kiss. Um, they let go of of Heartstorm um, and turn to you and say, two can play at this game," um, and uh, like take both of their hands on your face and and lean in for another uh, passionate kiss, um, ignoring the the you know hubbub and other threats uh, around you um, to focus solely on. Uh, this this good good kissing that's happening. All right, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my drastic uh, shape shifting to go full fan fiction and turn into uh, feelings because I'm sure that there's like super villain fan fiction out there about like the two of them are gay. <laughs> yep, yep, there 100 is. Um, uh, and I think that this is a splash page, like a big like. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, <laughs> And it's like people make posters for it. Um, there you go. Yeah, <laughs> a couple of variants uh, of it, I'm sure. Yep. It. Yeah. Exactly. That's the variant cover, like variant A. <laughs> yep. Um, <laughs> good. Good. Um, love to have smooches in these games. Uh, I love that. Yeah. I'm no rolls needed. Just kisses. Um, can, um, can I? Uh, can I ruin it with my foolhardy action now? Oh, please do. <laughs> Um, so, uh, <laughs> I think, I think, uh, Heartstorm sneers at Horizon and is like, I'll show you super strength. <laughs> and, um, I'm going to spend my last burn to, or spend, spend my last burn on, uh, Reality Storm, uh, where I, uh, directly engage a threat of it roll freak instead of danger. Um, and it will cause unwanted collateral damage. <laughs> So uh, oh, I'm I'm just like oh, immediately don't ruin the smooches. I'm immediately, um, I like so I'm sideways on the wall and yeah. um, I like put both of my fists up and reverse gravity so that I just go flying into uh, into lasers and also um, into half uh, who looks like feelings. Um and and just and just smash into them with both my fists. Yeah, uh, with all like three. the weight of a black hole behind me. Jeez, that is foolhardy action. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> so directly engaging a threat. Uh, that's a ten. Oh, perfect. So you you slam into um into both of them, and the three of you go flying uh through uh through a wall. You're now outside. Um. Uh, and I think the three of you slam into the side of one of these fancy vans because it's been a while since I acknowledged their yes. presence. Um, and it's it crumples, just like wraps around the three of you. Um, and uh, uh, Hef, I would love for you to take a powerful blow. All right. So I have no conditions. And I rolled way too high. So I got mm. a nine. Mm. So lash out verbally, give ground, or struggle past the pain. I'm gonna give ground. Okay, nice. Um, and I, I think the way that that looks is that you, um, because I think that this finishes off lasers. Uh, I think lasers is just kind of like lying there in the crumpled van, just like kind of stunned and dazed and doing like the rolling around thing that like <laughs> like wrestlers do where it's like they can't get up because it hurts so much. Um, and I think Hef is doing that too. Um, and Heartstorm, I think you can you like get up and like brush your shoulders off. And mm -hmm. um, this is the other variant cover because uh, we'll get like a really great like um, uh, shot of you standing like heroically with this crumpled van, and then like the sun in the background shooting out like r warm summer rays as this uh -huh. cool building just burns down <laughs> behind you. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> So there, there is one supervillain left, and that is Feelings. Uh, Horizon, you are in this basement. The water is now about hip deep. Um, it's, it's half pool water and half Sprite. 
<laughs> you, you forgot you forgot about all the pee. Yeah. Oh, okay. Right. So like ten percent pool water. Um, <laughs> no. Uh, it, it's not super great down there. Um, and feelings gets up um, and dusts himself off uh, and says um, something. I want a good one liner here. Um, ah, here we go. Uh, looks like I missed my shot. It's time for me to bounce. Um, and just like starts running away in the water, but it's like hip deep water, so it's just like <laughs> sloshing. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, and there's like a, a little like maintenance hatch uh, in the basement that would lead to like w whatever creepy city sewers there are um, underneath Halcyon City. Um, and you have a choice to go, uh, to go try and catch feelings or to rejoin your team. Um, I go and try and catch feelings. Nice. I say, there's no escaping into the horizon when I'm chasing you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dang. Yeah. Um, so you, you catch up with feelings, um, and you, you grab his arm and you deliver that line. Um, and the maintenance hatch opens. And you see, uh, as the water pours pours past the door, um, you see your uncle Amazo. Um, oh, man. <laughs> what what are Amazo's powers? Um, power negation, and mm -hmm. also toxic gas. Yes. Oh. So um, you feel uh, you were able to catch up to feelings because your super strength let you um, slosh through this water. Um, you leave a wake like a, a speedboat behind you and you catch up the door opens and you see a mezzo standing there um, And then suddenly it is hard to get through this water it you feel the full force um, Everyone actually feels the full force of this power negation um, So the roach you no longer hear the skittering of all your your insect friends everywhere around you um, the silence is deafening uh, half you feel just like a a, a weakness that you've never felt before. This is how humans feel. This is weird. I don't like this. Um, Bamboozler, uh, you you feel cut off from others. Uh, you cannot uh, access their emotions the way that you've been able to. Um, and then Heartstorm. I don't know if they really like me anymore. Hmm. <laughs> That's but ding. <laughs> um, but do you uh, care? Heartstorm, uh, you feel light on your feet as if uh, the weight of the world has has lifted from your shoulders. Um, okay. you're, you are no longer holding yourself down with gravity. Um, She's the only one that's feeling great about this situation. <laughs> uh, and as the, the music swells for this episode, um, and Horizon, as you look into your uncle's eyes, um, he uh, lifts up a small little device uh, in his hands and he, he sprays a green gas into your face. Um, and as your vision swims uh, and you fall into the water, um, the episode cuts to black and it says, Executive produced by Lafayette. <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> and I think that is where the episode ends. There we go. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> That was good. Wow. We never made it to the spring fling. <laughs> we, never made it to spring. we didn't find out who the uh, the fling royalty is. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like that's the next episode. Is it just like opens with that? Yeah. <laughs> um, no, it's 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 a uh, it's Heartstorm getting a picture <laughs> of the <them laughs> crowd. And Wait. we're all just sitting there like, oh. As we no, as we're as we're back at the build. Yeah. Where, yeah. <laughs> Where Kite is making us work into the night. <laughs> uh, oh, Heartstorm gets like a snap that says, "Like, where are you? You just got a, You just got crowned. Get up here!" <laughs> <laughs> oh, so oh man. So that was masks. Um, thanks everybody for for playing. <laughs> Uh, thanks everybody for listening. Thanks everybody for donating um, to the National Immigration Law Center. Thank you um, everybody for engaging with Lawful Good Gaming um, online. Uh, we have a Facebook page, which is uh, Lawful Good Gaming on Facebook. There's also um, a Twitter account, which if I was a good member of this group, I would have at hand. Um, <laughs> uh, 
I am not, however, so uh, bear with me here. You just it search is, lawful good. It is it's at lawful, lawful GG. GG. Yes. Yes. Um, at lawful. So Lawful Good Gaming coordinates, hosts, and participates in tabletop gaming events to help raise money for progressive charities, organizations, and causes. Uh, so there are, um, right now we are in season one of Lawful Good Gaming. Um, so every, every game that is going to be happening benefits one of three charities. The charity that I chose for this one, uh, the National Immigration Law Center. There's also the Southern Poverty Law Center um, and the... Um, the government accountability project. So, um, so far to date in season one, we've raised over a thousand dollars for these three charities, um, which I am honored to be a part of. And thank you all for um, for helping me raise uh, some money for um, for a charity uh, in season one. Um, I will be running more masks, so Saturday morning supers will be back. Um, uh, if not again in season one, definitely for season two. Um, I'm not sure what the charities are for that yet. We are working on a website for Lawful Good Gaming, so that'll be up soon. You'll hear me shout about it. Um, other than that, just follow the uh, the group on Facebook and Twitter um, to get all the invites that way. Um, the majority of the events are scheduled through Facebook, so that might be the best way to, to do it. Otherwise, I will also shout about them uh, on Twitter as well. So um, that was it. Uh, Unless everyone has sign-offs, I think we can call this a wrap. This was super fun. Awesome. Thank you, Taylor. Awesome, guys. Yeah, thanks, Taylor. That was awesome. Awesome. All right. Have a great night, everyone. Great night. It's great news. afternoon. <laughs> Look, I'm going to games at, like, night, so I'm just like, <laughs> it's 10 o'clock. Like, no, it's not even 11.30 yet here. Yeah, have a good lunch, lunch, everybody. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, too. Thanks, Dan.